Dame, it's a big time effort. You guys played some good D. You got some great rebounding, and that combination late was supplying that defense. Um, we did the same thing uh, tonight as we did last game in the first half. We came out, we guarded really hard. Um, in the second quarter, we had a drop off. Um, we addressed it at halftime. In the third quarter, they came out and got hot again. Uh, but we had to weather the storm. You know, we played well offensively, but. Um, it came down to us turning it up on the defensive end, and we did it. The ability of you and CJ to read the pick and roll out top and either split it if they hedge it hard or move around it, or if they give you too much room, take the outside shot. How effective has that become for both of you guys? Um, it's become really effective. And, you know, it's not just because of us reading it. It's when you can trust Mace in the middle. You can trust Ed in the middle. You can trust Noah in the middle making that swing pass to the weak side. And AC is knocking that shot down. Chief is knocking that shot down. So I think it's... It's more about us being able to trust those guys, you know, and them making the right plays. It makes it a lot easier for us. So um, it's, you know, the credit goes to the team. Ten assists, no turnovers for you. That's a pretty good ratio. I mean, I've been turning the ball over a lot, uh, a lot more than I would like to. Um, it doesn't help our team. Um, and I'm glad tonight I was able to, you know, finally get a game with zero. How about this guy, Ed Davis, next to you, what he did tonight? Double-double for him. Man, big time. Uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that he brings to the team, um, it may not show up on the stat sheet, but, you know, it means a lot. You know, tonight was one of the nights that it did. Um, at a big, I remember a, a big stretch of the game. I missed a shot, and he came and dunked it. You know, uh, we was down six, and we missed a shot. He tipped it in. You know, it's those, those lifesavers. You know, that's what Ed brings to the team, and uh, we're going to need him to keep playing that way. Thanks, Dame. Back to back tomorrow night. You get out of here. Ed, great game for you tonight. You seem to have all the reads on the rebounds, have the great nose for the ball, and gave him some offense as well. All right, you know, come off the bench, you know, we knew we had to bring energy. You know, um, the first game on the, on the East Coast, um, the trip, so we definitely wanted to come in here with the energy off the bench. So we did that in the first half, and then in the third quarter, they showed it, um, they got the lead, and, you know, we fought back at the end. You've been an integral part of this team, especially in some of these big victories. How much fun are you having with this new group? A lot of fun. You know, um, very unselfish group. You know, um, our superstar and Dame, you know, he's probably the most unselfish person on the team. So whenever you're playing with a bunch of unselfish guys that just want to win and have fun, you know, it's, it's always great. And you had high praise for your head coach uh, a couple of days ago talking about using you at the right times and having trust in you late in the game. That's got to feel good. Yeah, it feels good. You know, whenever, you know, your head coach, you know, has trust in you, you know, it makes it easier on you, you know. Um, in this league, you know, sort of the head coaches really dictate, you know, how you play. And so if you have a, you know, a, a coach that trusts you, you know, it's easier on you. Did the OKC game really turn things around and give you guys a boost of confidence as it led to this three-game streak? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that. You know, um, I think we've been playing, you know, um, fairly well this whole season. But it was just another um, a good win, and especially um, one at home that we got. But, you know, we had some few good wins this whole season. Thanks, Ed. Right. Good luck tomorrow night.